Oxidative phosphorylation is the flow of electrons along the electron transport chain. Those electrons come from reduced coenzymes, which are NAD and FAD, and these are produced in glycolysis, the link reaction, and the Krebs cycle. Now, the flow of those electrons moves hydrogen ions against their concentration gradient from the matrix of the mitochondria into the intermembrane space between the inner and the outer membranes of the mitochondria. The electrons join with oxygen and hydrogen to produce water at the end of the electron transport chain, and those hydrogen ions flow out again through ATP synthase, which then phosphorylates ADP to form ATP. So we start uh, with NAD oxidoreductase. This accepts the two hydrogens and two electrons. So two electrons from NAD get passed on to the first complex and that moves hydrogens ions across the membrane. The electron then gets passed on to complex three and then more hydrogen ions are moved across the membrane. This requires energy because there are more hydrogen ions inside the membrane than in the matrix, so they're being moved against their electrochemical gradient. Electron is then moved on to the final complex four, which is cytochrome oxidase, again moving hydrogen ions across the membrane. At the end, the electrons join with oxygen to produce water. So the role of oxygen is as the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain. The hydrogen ions that you've moved into the intermembrane space, they then flow back into the matrix, down their electrochemical gradient, and as they do that, they phosphorylate an ADP plus a P to give us an ATP. Now, the additional substance I haven't mentioned is FAD. Now, FAD delivers its electrons at complex two. And complex two is between complex one and complex three, not surprisingly. And the FAD has less energy so that, that FAD pushes less protons through the membrane. When the protons flow out, an one NAD could potentially generate three ATPs and one FADH could potentially generate two ATPs through the efflux of protons across ATP synthase. So just to summarize again, Oxidative phosphorylation is the flow of electrons through the electron transport chain. Those electrons come from the reduced coenzymes that are produced in glycolysis, Krebs, and the link reaction. The flow of that electrons, and the electrons eventually join with oxygen to produce water, that flow of electrons moves hydrogen ions against their concentration gradient from the matrix to the intermembrane space, which is the gap between the inner and the outer membranes. The electrons that have moved along the electron transport chain eventually join with oxygen and hydrogen to produce water. And those hydrogen ions that you've moved across from the matrix, they flow out through ATP synthase and that generates ATP. Thank you very much and I hope you subscribe.